So, Darren Till is about to face Tyron Woodley, the welterweight champion. He's about to challenge him for that welterweight strap. I believe it's going to be UFC 228. Yeah, UFC 228. And uh, this is a fight I'm fairly interested in. Um, I do feel like we've seen a similar fight. We have watched Rory McDonald take on Tyron Woodley, a fighter with, some, with really good hands. And uh, we saw kind of how Rory McDonald uh, neutralized Tyron Woodley's power, his explosiveness, how he trapped him against the cage. And I think we might see something similar uh, with Darren Till. But for now, we've got Conor McGregor in front of us. Let's touch it up. Let's see if we can neutralize Conor McGregor's power here. See if I can use some movement. This dude's already pushing me. I'm quite familiar with how he plays. I think. Um, I think I can get him. We'll see. He's using Connor. Connor can stop you. Chara. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that was nice. Dropped. And uh, I, I listened to feedback. You guys told me. Look at him taunting. Yeah, we doubled that up. Double up on that team. You guys told me you don't you don't like how bare and <laughs> I love doing that, man. Every single time I hit that. Hold on. Hold on. He's getting mad. He's getting mad. Got it. He's getting mad now. Man, players get so mad when you hit that lunge on them. Caught him. He has got the whip. Yeah, he does. Oh, that rocked him. Hold on. Damn, I'm surprised I was able to rock him through the through the block right there. Dropped. I love that teep. That dude was about to go for a jumping, I mean, for a flying knee. I wonder why it's even called a flying knee. I mean, it, it is a jumping knee. It's like, <laughs> oh, what was that? That was a teep. Oh my God, it's over. This is done. Oh boy, he's out of here. Man, I do not know how I was able to rock him with that team. I don't know. I guess he was trying to lean in for an overhand or something. He was trying to do something, but that was that was nasty. And I was just saying, I wonder why it's called a flying knee. I mean, it's not like you're flying through the air or anything. You're just you're jumping with a knee. I felt like the, the jumping knee is a more appropriate name, but whatever. I was I was saying earlier too, you guys uh, gave me some some feedback. You don't like how bare, how naked the octagon feels without the crowd. So I've turned back the cr I've turned back the crowd on. Um, turn it back on. Um, I am keeping commentary off. I mean, you can kind of still hear commentary, but the volume is really low. And uh, so you you mostly hear the sound of the strikes and the sound of the crowd. Let me know if this is better. If it's better, I'll keep it like this and uh, and keep going. So. But um, first fight of success, I'm going to do two more fights with Darren Till, make it a total of three fights, and then we will call it a day, and then sometime tomorrow I'm going to post uh, three fights as well with uh, Tyron Woodley. But that is it for this one, I will be right back very shortly with the next one, see you soon. And uh, the next one of course, we're facing Steven Thompson. I say, of course, like Stephen Thompson is a regular in this division. He's not. I, I mean, at this point, you you tend to run into a lot of Nick Diaz players, um, maybe some Tyron Woodley, but we're facing Stephen Thompson. And we touch. D 
dude. I did not mean to double that up. Steven, he's staying in, he's staying in orthodox, I think I'm gonna keep it in southpaw, and uh, yeah, throw, throw a lot of body kicks, as many body kicks as I can, well, you know, with Darren Tail, most of his power, I mean, every, all of his power comes from the left side, he's like the classic southpaw fighter, he's got the, he's got the left straight, occasionally he'll throw a body kick here and there, but for the most part, yeah, you, you have his left side to worry about. That's where the power comes from. Kind of sets up that left in a similar way that Connor does. He likes to feint the right. Come over the top with it. Oh, look, look, we, we okay, all right, man. All right, body kick com competition, let's go. Uh-huh, all right, no problem. Body kick war. I thought I could sway. I mean, lunge against that, but it still landed. Missed. Man, this first round is weird. We're kind of just playing tag a little bit. You hit me, I hit you. You hit me, I hit you. Rocked. Dropped. <laughs> now, I would go for the Muay Thai Plum, but I am afraid of lunging, so... Rocked him again. Yeah, I want to go for the Plum here, but... Mm -mm. I say that like everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. There's like a, there's a weird bug in the game right now that when you try to go for the Muay Thai plum against the cage, your fighter does a lunge instead. I have no idea why why that's happening or what's causing it, but of course we have reported that to the devs and they're going to try to fix that. But that's what I was saying. I mean, I don't want to try to go for a Muay Thai plum and do a major lunge instead and like lunge into a hook or something. So, we're going to be careful against that cage. I wasn't quick on that uppercut. There we go. There we go. That left hand is starting to flow. Come on, baby. There we go. Yeah. We're done playing tag, man. We're done playing tag. I'm just going to hit you now. Dropped. Is that it? That's it. That is it. All right. That first round was a little weird. The first round was a little weird. I wasn't, I couldn't find the timing from Southpaw. It's almost like every time I try to hit him with the left straight, he's just a tad bit far. Like I would throw the left straight, it would fall short, or you know, I think he's close. He was doing this like, you know, pull thing that you know he comes in and goes out, comes in, which is a valid strategy, but kind of really difficult to gauge distance when an opponent is doing that, coming in and stepping out. You know, push, pull, push, pull. So I wasn't able to time that left straight, but second round, he was there to be hit. He definitely was there to be hit. After I rocked him and had him trapped, I guess what I should have done from round one was like try to trap him against the cage. Either have them chase me or I trap them. That's that's the key with Darren Till. I think that's what it is. Either have you chase me, stand in front of me, or I trap you against the cage. Got it.
tend to figure things out in the middle of the fight sometimes, but that's, that's my new strategy. I got one more fight to do with Darren Till, one more fight, and I will call it a day. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far, but um, I'll be right back very shortly. All right, the last fight of the day with Darren Till. We are facing Rafael Dos Anjos. Got the height advantage here. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first fighting. Now, of course, with RDA, he he has a lot of he's got a lot of tools. Definitely has a lot of tools and uh, RDA players, man, they love their body kicks, man. They, you know, he's got that fast switch. Um, a lot of his hand techniques can can lead to body kicks. I believe you can throw the, the left straight, right hook, rear body kick. I believe you can also go hook hook body kick. You got the jab straight body kick, of course. I'm just I'm 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 overthinking it a little bit, but I guarantee this dude is gonna try to throw a lot of body kicks. Okay. Tell me I didn't think tell me I didn't know that. Knock me down there. Oh, he's got me in the plum. Oh no. God damn, man. Yeah, see? Yeah, I I yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna block those body kicks, man. Locking my body every time he throws a hand technique. There we go. Caught it. Oh. <laughs> he got it again. All right. I suspect he's gonna start going to the head now. We'll see. That was not head movement, Joe. That was a lunge. Damn it, man. He caught it. I tried blocking that punch, man. It's right. Yeah, sometimes... Sometimes the block on the punch is not consistent. Like, sometimes I feel like I blocked it, but then... It's like I I know the kicks will come. I know the body kicks will come. Why I'm not blocking every single one of them is driving me nuts right now. <laughs> Alright. That was a good round. That was a good round. I think it might have been his round, because he got the rock from the from the Muay Thai plum. And yeah, he landed quite a few of those body kicks. It's just, it's so easy to disguise those kicks with, with RDA. It, it really is. He's, he can throw a lot of hand techniques and end with body kicks. It all combos so smoothly. He got it.
He's rocked. Man, I planted on that one. Just plant and rip. Again. There we go. There we go. Plant and rip. There we go. There we go. Damn. What is up with this camera? What the hell? He dropped the and the fight is over. Jesus, man, that last sequence right there, I have no idea what was up with the camera. I just got so confused. I couldn't see like he threw the knee, and then like he he was able to throw the elbow. Like I I didn't see the elbow. It was just everything switched. And oh my lord, you guys probably don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. It's not like it's like super obvious. It's just there are weird things that happens with the movement and and the spin of the camera that really confuses me sometimes. But, overall, I'd say this was a success. I'd say this was a success. I am really looking forward to this fight. Um, I might make a fight prediction on it and just give you guys what my thoughts are on how I think the fight is going to go. But, overall, I, I think I do see Darren Till winning that fight. I, I, think he, I think he's got the tools to do it. Especially if Tyron Woodley stands against that cage like he always does. Yeah, I see it happening. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. I really appreciate the support. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. As always, stay safe. Have a wonderful day.